have something wrong here. Condensate pump's just running non-stop. Go ahead and unplug it. Okay, so I unplugged it. It's definitely that. As soon as I plug it, it just runs non-stop. So it sounds like the float's probably stuck on the condensate pump. Let's take a peek inside. Fortunately, this unit's getting remodeled, so it buys me enough time to get it renovated. And definitely needs it. All the baseboards and drywall work. Let's take a look behind door number one. Looks like uh, we've got a screw here. I can hear water cycling. Boy, this looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? It's not leaking. At least not at the second, but that doesn't look like it's in very good shape. I need to get a new screwdriver. It's not really grabbing that very good. What's going on here? Here's our pump. We need to pull that puppy out, clean it all out. I really don't like condensate pumps. Um, and that's kind of an understatement. Always uh, breaking down. I prefer gravity when at all possible. But in some situations it's not possible, hence the condensate pump. So, let me pull it up and take a look here. Should have a hose going in and the hose going out. Here's the hose going out. I can slip this one off, that's easy enough. And the hose going in is here. And hopefully, I'll crack it. It's, uh, sometimes these get really brittle. Alright, got it. Okay, let's pull it up. It should be empty. It was running non-stop. Oh yeah, sludge. Look at that. It's just like a solid mass of... Yeah, might be... Might be time just to replace this condensate pump, but we'll give it a shot. Let's see if we can fix it. Okay, so here it is over by the sink. Aim the deal into the... Oh, it's just running, 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 right? Okay. So let's pull this puppy apart. We got four or five screws. Take a look. Okay. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty in there. Time to add some condensate deals. Oh, man, look at that thing. There's the paddle. It couldn't even float down, it was stuck. All that stuff. We're gonna need to clean this off. Well, I'm gonna say enough. At this point, I'm just fixing it because it's kind of fun to fix it, but uh, yeah, then that looked disgusting. 
stuff looks like it belongs in the toilet. And that's where it's going. Oh my gosh. Yes. Flush it away. Rinse out. Flush it away. Again, I'm going to clean it all with bleach and all that, but assuming it's worth fixing. So, before I get too far with all this, let's just see if we've got it. Look. There's our float, and that's the important part to clean up. And again, this I'm going to take a bunch of bleach to get it proper. But we'll see if our float turns off now and doesn't turn on until we want to. off now and that's good. And now we add water until it turns on. Let's see if it does what it should do. Yep. Just turned on. And now it's pumping out the water. I'm probably not going to keep up with that, but uh, I need to clean out the rest of the sludge. It looks like we're back in business though. It's very slow. I have to grab some bleach. And Clear it all out. But it should work even better once we get it all cleared out more. We'll try dumping the water and turned off by itself. All right, gonna live another day. It's going to take a lot of bleach. Look at that. Oh, glad I'm renovating this unit. It needs it. Okay, yeah, the rest is just going to be cleaning off all this stuff here. And with my knife and getting it all in there. Get it all done. And again, might just replace it. It's pretty bad.
And I had to tilt all the tablets down to one end so I could make the cover fit. No big deal, but I thought you should know. Definitely a bunch more to clean up here. Time to clean the coils and clean everything down and vacuum everything out. But that's another story. I wanted to trim the hose off here and start fresh. And to make this even a little bit better would be adding a clamp over where the hose seats on. This one is plug and play. You know, you can push push the uh, hose in. But as an added benefit, I think adding a clamp uh, where it inserts over the the port is a good idea. That being said, I absolutely hate the condensate pumps. As I uh, said earlier in the video, they take a lot of maintenance. Using condensate tablets once every three or six months is definitely a good idea. You can put them right in the condensate pan, as I'll show you in a little bit that I added some there. They're anti-mold, anti-coagulant. That means they prevent the dirt from clumping together, and uh, that way everything can flow out freely. Uh, Again, condensate pumps take a bit more maintenance. You know, what can fail does fail, and the condensate pump has an extra float and everything. It's always better, if possible, to go with gravity. And too often people are eager to jump to the condensate pump as a fix. It's, it is a fix, but it has its own problems to it, its own maintenance needs. And so it's better, whenever possible, to go with gravity. There's why I'd like to add an extra clamp things on and here's where I'm adding extra tablets into the pan you know again these keep the pan from resting out and keep everything flowing freely good idea every time you change the air filter especially where you have a condensate pump 